Hi, I'm Matt Getz. I'm Raina Estrada. And uh, we're your entertainment podcast for this week. Well, you're not entertaining. So oh my god, so seriously. Scary. We're on podcast. You're doing this to me right now? Okay. You're doing this to me? <laughs> Doing Every well. relationship I have like this. I all mean, right. whatever, I don't whatever, whatever, embarrass whatever. you. Okay. All right, all right. So um, let's start us off with uh, five days ago, or about a week ago, let's just say the Jurassic World trade, <laughs> the <laughs> Jurassic World trailer dropped. Um, I hated it. Um, I don't know. Uh, you saw it recently. What did you think about it? I don't know. I thought it kind of they kind of made it look like it was gonna look like scary, but. It just looked pathetic. I feel like the original, you know, original is always the best. The better. The yeah. best. Yeah. I mean, personally for me, I like the first two Jurassic Park movies. Um, Jeff Goldblum, really, uh, I love his character in the second one. But uh, my favorite one, of course, the first one, then the second one, and the third one's just a, it's awful. But for me, this trailer is awful because of the special effects in it. Um, I feel like they played around with each shot like specifically to make it look perfect and to me that mm -hmm. makes the entire shot look fake i i actually went through the entire trailer with my friends and tore it apart because of how much i hated the trailer i'm still going to see the movie but um <laughs> i hate peter quill's pedo pedo mustache i hated the way he looked i i like his character i liked him on parks and rec i liked him as uh peter quill um in guardians of the galaxy uh for me the trailer just looked like a mess. It was a lot of fade in, fade out. It wasn't edited well together. Um, a lot of the special effects though just didn't live up to the old Jurassic Park, which is sad because that was uh, 20 years ago, 23 mm -hmm. years ago. I have no idea in between that, but I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, a trailer that was released this uh, past Friday for Black Friday was the Star Wars Episode 7 trailer. It's not coming out until December 18th, 2015. But the teaser trailer was released. Uh, what did you think about it? I thought it was uh, short, but it seems interesting. Um, I liked, I liked how there was like a lot of suspense and just a small amount of, uh, like just a small in a small clip. So mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. But I can't wait to s to see more more from it. Um, for me personally, I liked this trailer. I didn't think it was edited well together, but mainly because they just finished. Yeah. They just finished filming. Like they. They, that's what they did. Like they just finished filming and they took whatever clips they had and they just put it together. Um, and I like the new lightsaber. Um, a lot of my friends have been hating on it and uh, actually I've been reading up on it. Um, a lot of people have been hating on it and personally for me, I like it. Um, I think it looks cool. Um, uh, apparently it was in the comic books, but I've, I've heard a theory that they were, uh, because the Force is being awakened, like that's a Star Wars, The Force Awakened, that's the title of it, but because the Force is being awakened, the crystals that's in the lightsaber is becoming so much more stronger that they need to add in exhaust ports, but I have no idea. I think I thought that was a cool thing that they could add on. Um, I liked the opening shot. My favorite thing in the trailer, though, was the last 10, 15 seconds with the Millennium Falcon flying around. Mm -hmm. I thought that I it, it didn't look like bad CGI like what we saw in Jurassic World like yeah. it looked quality it looked really really well done all the shots um, the person doing the narration was actually Andy Serkis from the Hobbit movies as Gollum and King Kong uh, Caesar from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes so he's um, I thought that was really cool um, but yeah I like the trailer I'm a little worried about where it's gonna go mainly because um it does not feel like George Lucas directed this one. It feels mm -hmm. completely different, um, like the than the first the well the prequels, but which is good because the prequels were awful. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see it. Um, and although it was only 88 seconds, like you said, it was it was a really good trailer. Um, mm -hmm. Now there's a lot of controversy in the news actually about the opening shot, which has uh, a stormtrooper popping his head open who is um who's an actor from attack the block i forget his i forgot his name but um the actor has actually been getting a lot of backlash um due to him actually being black as a black stormtrooper and i mean this is just ridiculous i mean this is the 21st century there's yeah it really annoys me yeah what what, what do you think about this i just think like it's not right i mean i'm sure i'm sure he's a great actor and I'm sure we just have to see. He was awesome in yeah. the block. Yeah, so we have to, 
like there shouldn't be any discrimination. I mean, uh, most most movies um, that have um, an effort like the black man. Uh, like I mean, I, I mean, I just don't know why. Like, like this is such movies, a big deal. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like it, the actor in the shot, at least it, it was a good shot. I liked it. I don't know why he's, why this is even yeah. a thing because it was. Uh, I think he was a, re- he's a really good actor. I yeah, really I think liked it's him just on Attack different. Block, it's changed that people are not used to. It's not like I, it's I not something mm-hmm. someone like. Um, the audience is used to seeing, so it's like different for them. But I don't. And think I can't even right. tell if this is like nerd black a backlash. Damn it! <laughs> no, I'm, I can't even tell if this is like nerd backlash. Like this is uh, because in the original prequels, they're clone troopers, so they're all the same. They look the same. So uh, the clone back then was, I think, either uh, I think was just a white guy and. I don't know if that's why it's such yeah. a big deal, or if it's because it's just a black stormtrooper. And I just, I, I don't know why this is such a big deal. I, I liked him in the shot, and I think he's going to do a great job. Yeah. All right. So, um, in TV news, we actually have um, The Walking Dead. Not its amazing ratings. Not um, the fact that it's one of the biggest pop culture phenomenon. It's the fact that they actually spoiled the TV show for all their West Coast audience. Uh, West Coast audience. Um, so what they did is that after this Sunday night uh, show at eight o'clock on the East Coast, they posted it on Facebook uh, I mean, yeah. on they, who died. Yeah. And basically, some people on the West Coast they got so mad because it's it's a spoil like yeah. it's a spoil for them like. Uh, it's a it's a spoiler, and the I can't believe they just posted that online and. The, I mean, after the episode, and the West Coast hasn't even watched it yet. They still had actually a couple <laughs> hours before the even know. show premiered, and um, th- it just angered so many people. And it was just—I don't know—I don't understand yeah. it. It's really—I don't know what else to talk about yeah. because I don't watch the Walking Dead. But um, okay, uh, let's just sign off. Okay. Um, okay. Well, this has been uh, your entertainment podcast. I'm Matt Getz, and I'm Raina Estrada. See you next time.